In this video, I'm going to walk you through an example of earnings stripping. So earnings stripping is when a company shifts income from a high tax jurisdiction to a lower tax jurisdiction. So let's take the fictional company Shamrock Motor Cars. Let's say that they're headquartered in Ireland, which is known as being a tax haven because it has a very low corporate income tax uh, rate. And they manufacture cars for the European market out of their Irish headquarters and production facility. But they also happen to have a subsidiary in the United States that produces and sells vehicles for the U.S. car market. Okay, so we've got SMC in Ireland and then the subsidiary uh, SMC in the U.S. So let's say that SMC US in 2019 had $100 million in sales revenue and $70 million in expenses. So basically they would have had $30 million in taxable income. However, let's say that at the beginning of 2019, the Irish parent, SMC, loaned $400 million to the subsidiary in the U.S. at an interest rate of 8%. Okay, so that's going to come out to $32 million a year. That's uh, $400 million times 8%. That gives $32 million a year from interest okay, that is being paid by SMC US, the U.S. subsidiary, to the headquarters in Ireland. Okay, so now what has happened here is this. SMC US, the U.S. subsidiary, now they've got $100 million in revenue, minus $70 million in expenses, minus the $32 million in interest. Okay, so now they have, so that 100 minus 70 minus 32, it's negative two. So now the U.S. subsidiary has a tax loss. Instead of having taxable income, so if, if you forget about this loan and the interest rate and so forth, now we've got, where they would have had a taxable income of 30,000, but now because of the interest, 30 minus 32, now they actually have a tax loss. So they're going to generate a net operating loss, an NOL, Okay, and assuming that the U.S. corporate income tax rate, so it was in 2019, it was 21%. So if you take 21% times 2 million, they're actually going to have a deferred tax asset. They're going to have a, a net operating loss uh, of $420,000 that they can carry forward. Uh, basically, have the $2 million of tax losses they can carry forward at a rate of 21%. That'll save them $420,000 of tax in the future. But... There's also going to be a difference in taxes right now in 2019 for the whole company. And this is because, so in Ireland, the tax rate in 2019 was 12.5%. Okay. So SMC, they're going to, so basically when that interest goes to the Irish headquarters, okay, so that $32 million, it's a tax deduction for SMC US, but it's in income in Ireland. Okay, So that's going to be taxed, so let's say 12.5%, let's say that's the rate. Okay, times uh, the, the, the interest, which is $32 million, it's going to generate $4 million in taxable income in Ireland. Okay, so, ba or excuse me, in tax uh, due in Ireland. Okay, so the $32 million of interest income to the Irish parent times 12.5%. So the Irish parent is going to have to pay $4 million in taxes. That's a lot to take in, so let's break it down. Okay, if there was no loan, if this did not, if there was no the Irish parent loaning money to the U.S. sub, then the U.S. sub would have had a taxable income of thirty million. At a rate of twenty-one percent, they would have had to pay U.S. tax of six point three million. Okay, so the total tax for the the whole company based on this, uh, just the facts here, would have been six point three million going out the door by the U.S. sub. Now, with the loan, so this this here this this fact pattern is when we have the loan. Uh, the U.S. sub now has a tax loss of $2 million, which is going to generate tax savings of $420,000 in the future, assuming there's a 21% tax rate. Now, the Irish parent, we said that they are going to incur uh, $4 million in tax liability. I showed you the calcula calculation for that there. And they are going to end. So basically, there's in 2019, if we just look at 2019, with the loan, there's $4 million in tax paid. Without the or without the loan, if this loan did not happen, the U.S. sub would have paid 6.3 million in tax. So that's again, this is a lot to take in. So let me summarize it. This saves. So we take the difference between 6.3 million and 4 4 million. This saves 2.3 million in taxes for the company in 2019. Why? Because the company has effectively shifted income from a high tax jurisdiction, the U.S., to a lower tax jurisdiction. Ireland. Okay, so it's taxed at 12.5% instead of 21%. So that's how they save 2.3 million of taxes in 2019. In addition, 
In addition, because of the tax loss, there's going to be the deferred tax asset that saves another $420,000 in future taxes, assuming that the U.S. sub at some point in the future has uh, taxable income and you can use those net operating losses. Now, you might be looking at this and saying, hey, this is basically, uh, a, maybe this was just structured strictly to avoid U.S. tax. Basically, this is just a transaction that has no purpose other than to just evade tax, okay? So the IRS could come in and say, you know what? This loan is, is not really a loan. It's not a loan. That's really a capital contribution. This is just a classic case of, of earning stripping. And so they could come in. So what, what would the company do, right? What could the company do? Well, they could really look at the uh, Section 385. Uh, and I've got another video on that. It's got five factors for the IRS determining whether something is going to be considered debt or a capital contribution equity. So you better believe that this transaction is going to get looked at uh, to see, okay, is this is this really a loan with a debtor-creditor uh, relationship here? Or is this just a transaction just strictly that was created just to uh, avoid taxes?